Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Today is your Margarita Monday. <laughs> That's right. We were talking about margarita. We had to re-record this one, so we're going to yeah. repeat everything. So you guys don't know. You guys don't know if we're actually repeating it correctly. <laughs> We could be that's the, or just that's the beauty of take two. <laughs> yeah, I, I seem to recall you having a hard time with the beauty of take. I can't do that again. I'm lying. You're not lying. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, how do you want to say it? I want to say it like la 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 la. Well, since I was recording that whole time, I guess you're just a liar. That's going to be a long all, time. That's the moment it all clicked for her. But I'm not a liar. But apparently you are because I just pressed record. <laughs> that takes me a again. long time. And mm -hmm. you did it again and you, you can't. Like, this is a podcast. Well, it won't be the exact same thing as what but, we just But there's said, nobody so. on the planet going... I wonder if they did that on another take. I'll bet that's not exactly what she said. I want to. Do you guys have recordings? I want to know what she actually. No, yes, she, we have. What she actually said was, I'm not recordings. like that. I just can't do like you do. I can't just make it up again. It's like, really? Yeah, yeah. You came up with the idea and you said it, so say it again. It's not like you. <laughs> That was, a so great, here, that was a tough concept for you to get. The, oh. <laughs> take two. But, I, but I'm being phony. Like, no, you're just redoing it. No, it's phony. No, you're just redoing it because you can't talk. And you're a ding dong. And you went, uh, 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 uh. take two. Well, I can't do that again. I hope you won't. Please don't go. Uh, 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 again. I would hope to God you wouldn't. That's why we're going to do it again, because you win. <laughs> <laughs> fries are done. So here we are at our Margarita Monday. And if you were trying to listen to our episodes last week, uh, uh, there was just too much going on in the political arena, and that kind of took precedence over everything else. And so once again, us little guys got kicked to the back of the bus, and we never had the opportunity to get the rest of the recordings up for you. But so we didn't leave we're going to do... But we didn't leave before we were done recording, though. We at least finished we're, the recording. We, we finished we and so did the fries. <laughs> at least we didn't get up and walk out and go, see ya! <laughs> well, that's great. What are we going to do in the last five minutes? Our trip <laughs> as we're leaving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, all last week we talked about the great outdoors. So today, Monday and Tuesday, Margarita all Monday. Week, all last week. All last about? week. That's this week. The great outdoors. Yeah, this That's week. This week. Which was last week when we recorded. But oh, you know, they, but they, didn't get any, they never got any of that. I'm just seeing for you and me. But we're recording, so they're okay, listening. So <laughs> Perfect time. Ding. Fries are done. <laughs> Who's on first and where the hell is second? He's on I third. don't know what's on third. <laughs> wow. yeah, I, two I things need a to remember and you get stuck in a drawer. <laughs> Why are you in the drawer? You gotta remember this and remember this. I can't wait. My hands caught in the drawer. It's like, open the drawer. <laughs> oh. It's like, wow. I just want a margarita. <laughs> you get lost getting ice cubes. <laughs> I had that big, gigantic margarita. <laughs> yeah, I know. We recorded that afterwards. Was... That, was a, that was an interesting show. <laughs> It was. I don't do that very often. Drink a five-gallon <laughs> margarita. <laughs> wow, that was worth forty-five dollars. <laughs> I don't think I've ever paid twenty dollars for a margarita in my life. Well, that was Except a gallon of margarita. Oh my god, this is like a fishbowl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I remember, good, though. I remember your hubby contacted me going, T minus, I don't know, but she might not be on the show. <laughs> he 
takes a picture, she's leaned over by this giant thing with a huge struggle. I'll empty it. No, no, I'm going. I'm going. It's like uh, you got to be on the air in 25 minutes. I got it. You could always just like you could always just like not finish it. I paid 20 for. No way. Yeah. That was it, too. I'm like, I paid 20 bucks for this. I'm oh, finishing it. <laughs> Even if I can't walk, I'll get my $20 worth. <laughs> exactly. Quickly, go around back at the wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bad part was is that he kept thinking, well, we have to walk through the whole entire restaurant. Because they, they sat us at the back of the restaurant. Because it was a busy night. Well, you ordered a one-gallon And that was the only... Yeah. Everybody else, is, everybody's entitled to some fun. They're like, okay, the well, lady with the one gallon is now exiting, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> mints for everybody. <laughs> Here, how a toothpick. I'm a giver. <laughs> successful <laughs> you were a mess <laughs> or you're sitting down looking at me going what what <laughs> you keep looking at me it's a small thing right in front of me it's the same thing I do every time it's called a video chat why is he looking at me because you're in a video chat you requested it mm. <laughs> Yep, those were yeah, that was that was a good margarita. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big margarita. <laughs> it was. And on that note, we need to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, welcome back everybody. You're listening to a quickie with Miss B. Today is Margarita Monday. <laughs> I don't suggest the twenty dollar margarita. <laughs> That's not for everybody. <laughs> So let's finish up with some uh, more camping stories, shall we? I thought the camping pranks would be a good one to talk about. <laughs> Those can be fun. <laughs> Mine's very short and quick, so I'll tell you. Our class went on a camping trip up north, and we were there for the weekend. So this is what they did. It was like this big building, and then the middle was like a common area. And on one side was sleeping quarters for the boys, and on the other was the sleeping quarters for the girls. <laughs> so like, there was this one guy. He was just, you, you know, you always have that one person that's really annoying throughout the whole trip. Wow. He was chronically complaining about everything. He didn't want to participate in anything. No cross-country skiing. No, we had wall climbing or rock climbing, you know, doing all these, you know, fun stuff. And so... <laughs> I think we were there for three days. So on day two, we, we had enough of his chronic complaining. Well, not me, but some of us in the group. And so, led, led anyways. <laughs> no, I, actually, this time, I had nothing to do with it. Oh, it was yeah, okay. my friend in the group. They snuck over. They snuck over to the... I have the grand dog. I'm so sorry. They snuck over to the boy's side of the tent and found where he was sleeping. And he wear he wears glasses, so they decided to smear toothpaste on his glasses, and he was sleeping, you know, kind of like with his arms up above his head, and it just kind of spread eagle. They put toothpaste under his armpits, toothpaste on the bottom of his feet. <laughs> and so the next morning. And it's not a very big area. I mean, like, you can hear the girls cackling and giggling, and you can hear the boys talking, you know, because it's, it's just a, it's small. But at the same time, the way that it's built, you can hear a lot of echoing going on. All of a sudden, this guy gets up, and <laughs> sure enough, he's swearing he beat the band because he went to put on his glasses, and they're all full of toothpaste. And, of course, he put his arms down, and <laughs> it's got, then he decides to get up. <laughs> Up out of the bed, and he's got toothpaste on the bottom of his feet. And yeah, he had some pretty choice words for several people who he I thought can't was in on they it. I did that because I mean, where I'm from, 
<clears throat> you, you, you just, I mean. I and I couldn't believe it because we girls, had like we had so many bo- chaperones, though, too. You know, know like you could get away still, with it. I know, but put it like this if you could put toothpaste on a boy's foot, <laughs> there's other things that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, I mean, I, I'd have been like, wait a minute. I've been trying to get Marianne to hang I out think... with me for like about a year and a half, and you're telling me you figured out how to get her mom and dad to agree for her to go out to the woods with me? Are you kidding me? I mean, that, I mean, that's kind of where we went. I mean, we were bored, of, you know, with the camping, and he was chronic and complaining about everything, so we wanted to... You know, the Freudian slip you just did was we. We, we, as in we, uh, the group in, that I was with. As, as in partnered by you. No, I didn't go in there. Because I got to the commons area, and then I saw the uh, one of the chaperones, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't want to get in trouble. So I turned around and went back. But the rest of the people in my group went ahead, and, yeah, they got what? toothpaste got all over the place. blanket party. Wow. Just gave them a blanket. Blanket party? Yeah. Oh. I don't know about that. So take a blanket. You, if they're on the bunk, you get up. Yeah. There, you get underneath their bunk and you take a blanket and you throw it right over their head, and then you you pull yourself up, so you're holding their head down and they can't move. They just they just can't get their head. <laughs> and then everybody everybody puts bars of soaps in a sock and just runs over and slam, slam. They hit you. <laughs> And this is what you did for a prank while camping? Oh, that wasn't a prank. That was in the military, and that was to teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh, okay. And then once you were in absolute pain, and the person who was holding you down lets go of the blanket and slides off to his bed, before he leaves, just don't say one word. If you do, it's forever, every night. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's it. You get the sh- Nikes kicked out of you because you keep causing problems. You know what I mean? Like someone who doesn't mm-hmm. do stuff right. Now we're all doing push-ups. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're all getting punished for it. Mm-hmm. We all get punished together. Yeah. Well, because you're now a group. together. We're gonna take a group and teach you a lesson. <laughs> together. Mm-hmm. Togetherness. <laughs> all one. Oh well, we didn't. No, we didn't have never. that. They would have never in my school when I was in school went, okay, I got a great idea. What? We'll take the girls <laughs> that the boys have all been trying to touch, and then we'll take the boys. <laughs> and we're going to take them out into the woods together and let them just, like, be in a giant tent. <laughs> no, it, was, it was a building, and it had the bunk beds oh, and buildings everything. Even, buildings even worse, because buildings have closets. <laughs> There's places to really- hide. Marianne, come with me. I found a closet. <laughs> I, I don't know because I felt I fell rock climbing. You got to remember, back in those days, it was right. It was the seventies. We just had the summer of love. <laughs> Everything was wild and wacky and loosey goosey. <laughs> you didn't take a bunch of boys and go. How would you boys have to go camping with a bunch of girls in the woods by yourselves? You go. Oh, sign me up. <laughs> How are you going to get their parents to agree? Their parents think the girls are going on a camping trip. And your parents think Listen. the boys are going on a camping trip. We just left out the whole boys will be sleeping I mean, in the same building no. as the girls. Well, I, I don't doubt that there was hanky-pinky going on, but I that was not a part of that. Hold I on. fell off hold the on, rock climbing on. thing, and I was hold bedridden on. for the rest of the time I was hold there because I, I hurt question. my back. I want to ask you a question. Was there hanky-pinky going on? I don't know. Hold I was on. laid hold up on. in bed. Hold on. You have friends. They told you stories. Was there hanky-pinky going on? Not with my friends. Was there hanky-pinky going on? None of my friends were doing the hanky pinky. Was there any hanky pinky going on? <laughs> uh, I'm sure that there were certain girls that were initiating the hanky pinky because those were the girls that always initiated hanky pinky. Whether you were in school or camping or whatever, it didn't matter. There was always hanky pinky on the mind see, from the, I, these, these see, girls. I would have been hanging out with those girls. <laughs> you would, you hanky pinkier. <laughs> 
I have been. I got a new tattoo. What's it say? Hanky. Who's got the other half? Looking for a panky. Anybody got a panky? Do you have a panky? <laughs> But we were like, I think when we did that trip, we were 13, 14 years oh, old. Oh, that's like hanky panky heaven. That's like, <laughs> that's like gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> that is like the absolute worst. <laughs> that's like every boy. What's your middle name? Christopher Columbus. I'm an explorer. <laughs> yeah. 13 year old boys. Right. No, yeah, hanky, well, that would be, that's like the yeah, only thing whole, in the. There's like eat, sleep, hanky panky. That's yeah, because like, we were it. in grade eight, so that would make us fourteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's like hanky <laughs> panky time of the world. <laughs> I went no. I went rock climbing. I fell off the thing and hurt my back and. Yeah, you're the only. You're, you're, I was you're done. That girl that I'm the one that gets injured. <laughs> okay, cheerleader tryouts. Well, she's not going to be in with us. Why? Because last time she broke her leg. <laughs> you know, I'm that girl. Yeah. Are you serious? She broke her leg. Yeah. yeah. How'd she break her legs? Getting an ice cream. <laughs> uh -huh. She slipped. I thought it was try. It was at tryouts. That's why she came here too. <laughs> oh, ice cream truck. <laughs> Broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we need to go. Ice cream trucks up front. <laughs>